Does Callie feel that she's um, betrayed Brandon in any way by telling the moms exactly what happened? Yeah, there's definitely a level of guilt when she has to tell him what's happened. She, it's, you know, she, it's heavy, you know, she, it's not easy for her to say, and I don't think she's, she's not really an entitled person, so I think, you know, wh whenever she's putting someone else out, she definitely feels guilty, so, um, yeah, but I think she also is just owning it and uh, is just so overwhelmed by the situation that I think Brandon's feelings aren't uh, totally in the front of her concerns, but she definitely, you know, it's hard for her to tell him what happened. Does the drama that happens in the season premiere, like, help her relax a little bit in a strange way? Um, I th yeah, it's an interesting point. It kind of does because once you've gotten everything out there, um, but it's, you know, it's been a huge secret for them to, or, or like a cross for them to both bear, and so um, I think they've both, I mean, you'll see them working through it, and obviously they're going to have to face it and deal with it for a while. It's difficult, but um, once they're past it, it's definitely, um, yeah, it's a relief. Well, did what happened with Justina affect how Kelly, like, Kelly always wants to help people. Did the yeah. whole Justina situation change how she... No, if anything, I think it just made everything to do with you know foster care and um, the rights of you know young people even more real she ends up going on a new escapade of course um, she discovers that um, a, a, like an ex foster brother that she used to live with um, has been wrongly wrongfully convicted of murder and so she goes on this kind of detective um, spree trying to prove his innocence um, and so that takes up most of her season actually um, and you definitely see that kind of fighter within her coming out in that form yeah. So this could be Callie's like serial season? Yeah kind of, <laughs> it's kind of yeah I'm Sarah Koenig <laughs> um, basically yeah. Um, what does Callie think of Brandon at this point now that all this has come out? Um, I think she's a little, I mean, she definitely, her and Brandon go through some stuff. I don't know how much I'm allowed to say about uh, Brandon's living situation, but uh, she Brand, she doesn't really agree with the way that Brandon deals with the mom's judgment of them. And uh, he kind of uh, starts having kind of rifts with the parents, and she's quite judgmental of that because she's sort of owning what they did wrong a little bit more than he is, and he's quite an entitled person, so <laughs> I think she's just quite judgmental of that. So um, they're not super close this season. You don't see them really working together on much. Um, they coexist, but it's uh, their connection is a little bit damaged, yeah. Do you think Kelly is personally feeling more settled as a part of the Adams Foster family? Yeah, I think definitely this season you see her really just accept, like, you know, the one thing that um, could have broken it all didn't, and I think she's able to really, um, yeah, accept that love that she hasn't really been able to get to yet. And how does Kelly respond to Jude's situation that's going on now? Uh... What's his situation? There's so much going well, on. Well, um, where he's thinking he may be straight. Oh yeah, I don't, I don't know. I think she's just letting him figure it out. Um, she's, I mean, that's kind of what it is when you're a kid and you're figuring it all out. Um, you're dating different people, and you know, she's. I think she's just letting him do his thing, and yeah. Can you tease anything about the season premiere specifically and the situations they get into? Um, yeah. So specifically. Uh, this first couple of episodes are predominantly about what's happening with Nick and Mariana um, and the shooting or a potential shooting. Um, yeah, you definitely see that kind of take over what they're going through and everything else, all the little things, all the little dramas between the characters become quite peripheral, um, especially for Kali uh, and the moms. And so I don't know if I can get into super specifics, but um, but yeah. And what can you tell me about what's coming up between Callie and AJ? Um, you see them being really sweet. And I really like AJ because I think he like grounds Callie and is just like a good consistent person for her in this kind of world of chaos that she creates for herself. Um, so I mean, who knows if it'll last, but um, they're, they uh, definitely build on their relationship and it becomes quite a lovely trusting thing for Callie.